A question I'm being asked a lot recently is, Lee Brown, why do you think we're in a recession? The news says we're not in a recession. All right, friends. So first of all, let's remember something about the news. This is not the era of six o'clock evening news with Walter Cronkite and Tom Brokaw. This is the era of clicks and taps, and the news media is no different than y'all on Facebook and Instagram looking for likes and views. Their goal is to lead with something that's going to scare your pants off or to obfuscate the facts. The reality is the definition of recession has always been known as two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. Now, what does that mean in real estate? We know that there's still an inventory shortage. So first of all, just know that recession does not mean that the lights go off and the world ends. It just means the economic conditions are not exactly super positive for everybody. That's the first thing I want you to realize is that it doesn't mean the wheels are off the bus. It just means the bus is getting into a different lane. Now, when you consider what all of this means at negative GDP growth, you think about what you're living through right now. Gas prices are up, food prices are crazy. The cost of housing has been crazy for two years. Everything's going up. You're gonna be watching your utility bills really go up this winter. Well, what that means in the way of housing is that your clients, your buyers, and your sellers are also feeling the same pinch that you're feeling. Here's what happens though. A lot of people assume that a homeowner who has a ton of equity in their house is sitting on a pile of cash. That's not exactly what home equity looks like. It does look like if they sold, they would have some money they could then repurpose. But then you have to ask yourself, have they been in the house long enough to be exempt from capital gains? How much is the capital gain? So think about that environment. Maybe they're selling an investment property and they want to perform a 1031 tax deferred exchange, so they're not going to touch the money. But if they're just going to stay in the house and they've got all this equity piled up, you will find that a lot of people, when cash is tight, will go look for a home equity line of credit, also known affectionately as a HELOC. What that means is they can take a credit line out against the house and tap into that cash. Friends, you should know that people are taking out home equity lines at the highest rate we've ever recorded, over 84 billion so far this year. Now, what that means is that many of the home sellers that you're talking to may have taken out a home equity line. Your job as a realtor, when people are getting really nervous -y about the economy, is to ask great questions. Well, I know you want to talk about selling your house. What do you owe on it? They're gonna give you the loan number that came from Bank X. Then you've gotta ask them, do you have a home equity line? You'd be surprised at how many homeowners don't know that's got to get paid off with their house. Now you're thinking, but Lee Brown, what's the home equity line got to do with the recession? Well, what's happening right now is with consumer prices going up, with the price of everything going up, People don't necessarily have enough cash in their bank account to pay everything because wages have not chased inflation up. So people are gonna to have to bridge that gap. A lot of them bridge it with the money from their home equity line. Other folks bridge it with credit cards. And we just saw the numbers come out, more credit accounts opened up in the last quarter than ever in US history. So you've gotta consider the fact that people are looking for a way to stay afloat, to keep buying what they buy, and they're staying in their jobs to keep things going. So what happens in real estate is some people will choose not to sell because they don't like how much they walk away with. Some people choose not to sell because frankly, to replace their house at a higher interest rate and a higher price doesn't necessarily make sense. So that's where you start to see some slowdown in the market. It does not mean the market stops and falls off a cliff. So what I want you to understand is that when somebody says there is a recession going on and we're heading into a deepening part of it, it doesn't mean your business stops. It doesn't mean real estate goes away. It just means you have to ask really smart questions and be a really thoughtful advisor who can personalize the information that is necessary for the buyer to make a good decision and for the seller to make a good decision. And by the way, turn off all those news sources. Start to follow some information that will be helpful to you. You can look at resources like NAR Research has really good economic information. You can follow some of the other information that comes out of places like the Department of Labor Statistics, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the Census Department. You can get some information there. One of the places where you can pull financial information if you're looking for really in-depth stuff, there are several accounts on Twitter you can follow. Just be aware that every account's gonna have a little bit of its own bias involved and numbers can be manipulated if you're smart enough to do it. So what I want y'all to realize is all of that is good to know, but your biggest source of information comes from the buyers and sellers in your zip code. They're asking you questions, give them some thoughtful answers, and then consider what's going on so that you can always be a resource. I'll see you next time.